division for fourteen. Amen. Forgot about Yahweh. I'll be preaching for a few hours. Part two of the message we began a few weeks ago. Joint compound. Joint compound. Heard the neighbor say joint compound. We're in a, we're in a joint compound. Let's try that again. Neighbor, we are in a joint compound. We should no longer, look at verse 15, Ephesians 4, 14. We should no longer be children tossed and carried away with every wind of teaching by the tricks of men and human cleverness. How many know human cleverness gets in the way of the word? How many understand that? There's a lot of things that are clever. There are a lot of things that are possible. But if they're not found in the word, they're confusing. Amen? Amen. So there's a certain human cleverness. You may have some of that cleverness, and, and others may have some of that cleverness, but there's a human cleverness that doesn't do spot in the kingdom of God. It is the understanding of the Ruach and the word of Yahweh. That human cleverness and the tricks of men that are used by those who lie waiting to deceive you. In a congregation, we learned this last week, that a joint is a connecting, is a connector, we learned in Webster's, and I don't want to really rehash this. It is a part or a place where things are joined. This is a place where things are joined. You and I come from different backgrounds. We come from many, many different backgrounds. And what Yahweh wants to do is bring us all into unity and all of us into agreement from all the different backgrounds we come, come from. Amen. Make sense? Amen. Yeah. It is a place or a part in which two or more things are joined. A place or an assembly you are called to join. A joint is uh, a point of articulation between two or more bones, a connection that allows motion or a building or a dwelling shared by common two or more. So this congregation is a, a compound joint. It is a connecting place that allows us motion to move forward in the things of God. Any part or any joint, we are a, a compound of joints, meaning a connecting part that connects two or more things. So Yahweh has, through his son Yeshua, who is the head of the Kehillah, comes and desires to connect with us all those what? Connecting parts as we're connected one to each other, as we're connected together. So it comes through Yahweh, down through Yeshua, who is the head of the assembly, to all the joints that are fitly put together. Make sense? Now, all those joints have to be what? Walking in one accord, walking in agreement, because if all those joints are not fully echad, then we're going to have a disconnect, and motion is going to be hindered. And when motion is hindered, then you need to be replaced. And we don't want to be replaced because Yahweh put us here. Amen. True? Why would we want to be replaced when Yahweh put us here? Amen. So you don't want to replace yourself by the fact that you are moving in a way that is not connecting the people to the head and to the leadership that Yahweh has in this congregation. Now here's the bad news. You can't be connected to the Yeshua without being connected to the leadership that Yahweh has put in this congregation. It would be nice. It would be easier, right, if everything was just between Yeshua and me. And we didn't need any leadership or anyone to over. It would be much easier. Less fighting, less division, less arguments, less, less possibility for disagreements and misunderstanding, right? Wouldn't that be a lot easier? But it doesn't work that way. Not in Scripture. In Scripture, Yahweh has put his leadership in the congregation, and Yeshua flows through that leadership down supplying every joint with nourishment and food and, 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 and spiritual meat. And so the, all those joints are not hindered and have perfect motion 
as perfect fluidity. You follow me? I said, you follow me? You know that angry at me yet, right? Not yet. Not yet. That's good. Baruch Speaking the Emmet, verse 15, in Ahava, Ephesians 4, 15, that we may progress in one place. Notice, the joints are connectors that bring two or more parts together in one place, one congregation, one building, one dwelling, or one assembly. That's us. So that if all the joints are not dispensing that same and receiving and, and, and acknowledging that same nourishment, then that motion is hindered and the progress is hindered. As I said two weeks ago, and it was two weeks ago because I remember last week we, we parted from that. You and I are allowed to be free thinkers until we come to the front door. We can think things freely, we can receive things freely from the Ruach HaKodesh, and you can sit here week after week after week in your heart and disagree with the common held beliefs of the community as long as you don't open your mouth. You see what I'm saying? That's for your freedom ends. So we're not here, according to the word of Yahweh, to control your thinking. You're, fr you're, you're free to think as Yahweh would have you think. But you're not free to, to, to take things that the community does not hold in common and start going to other people and dispensing and start opinionating on people. Remember we talked about that oh, two yeah. weeks ago? Oh, yeah. You're not allowed to opinionate on people. You don't have the authority or the freedom in the Ruach to sow division. The, the unity of the body is more important than a 100% doctrinally pure congregation. You know why? Because there is no such thing as a 100% doctrinally pure congregation. So the overriding principle or action or behavior, there's no such thing as a perfectly well-behaved congregation where everybody is acting the way they're supposed to act all the time. So if that's not the case, then the overriding principle is unity, striving, guarding, fighting. If you don't fight for it, if you don't determine that we are going to be united, then when the enemy comes in like a flood, and when the enemy comes in, you will not be prepared to take a stand against the enemy. Faith doesn't come. You've got to fight the good fight of faith. Bring a, bring a prayer warrior or intercessor doesn't come. You've got to intercess and strive and wrestle in the Ruach. Same with God unity. If you want unity, it's going to be cemented in the perfect bond of love. The perfect bond of love is not there. It has to be fought for. Just like a good marriage, just like a good relationship, just like anything that is worth having is worth struggling for and fighting for. Amen? Am I boring you? Not yet. Not yet. Again, this message joined compound. We are in a compound made up of many different joints. And every joint is supposed to hold things together. It's not up to the leadership to say, this is what we believe, this is where we stand, this is where we struggle, this is where we fight, this is where we, it is up to every joint to provide nourishment to the others in the body. And the nourishment that you provide must be found to be in one accord with the nourishment that the leadership is providing. Does that make sense? Does that, does that make sense? Oh, yeah. So... So growth is achieved. Yahweh wants us to move. No movement be hindered. Move in revelation. Move in understanding. Move in wisdom. Move in forgiveness. Move in love. To make progress in all the areas that are the fruit of the Ruach HaKodesh manifested. But in order to make progress in those areas, we have to determine...